You're back on the air with We Sell Restaurants, the industry leader in restaurants for sale, franchise restaurant resales, and site location for the food service industry. Our firm is franchising our concept nationwide, and we currently have offices in Florida, Colorado, South Carolina, Tennessee, and Georgia. And we have just been on the air with legendary entrepreneur Phil Romano talking about his restaurant incubator program in Texas. Now we're going to switch gear a little bit and talk to another concept in that very specific uh, uh, Trinity Grove concept. It's called La Cocina. It's a groundbreaking business incubator designed to reduce the obstacles that often prevent low-income food entrepreneurs from creating successful and sustainable small businesses. The program provides affordable, shared commercial kitchen space, industry-specific technical assistance, and access to both market opportunities and capital. La Cucina works with low-income women and immigrant entrepreneurs as they launch, grow, and formalize successful food businesses. The organization's vision is that program participants become economically self-sufficient and contribute to a vibrant and diverse economy doing what they love to do and what we are. Today we're joined by the Development and Communication Associate of La Cucina, Michelle Fernandez. Well, Michelle, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. Okay, so when Michelle was growing up, she told us she wanted to be a writer, a Supreme Court justice, or a professional chocolate chip cookie taster. We all had those dreams. A few years later, she was on her way to realize those very dreams at Amherst College, where she studied Spanish and the history of war. Following graduation, she researched international crime in the executive branch with a two-time Pulitzer Prize-winning journalist. Late one night, while browsing archives and eating her third chocolate chip cookie, she realized her passion lay with food. She started as an intern at La Casina and is a success story of the program, moving her way up through a number of roles to become communications and development associate. Michelle is responsible for sponsorship at the San Francisco Street Food Festival, press relations, and finding people as passionate about food as the folks at La Casina. We're so glad to have you on board, and I'd just like to kick off by asking you to tell us a little bit about your program in general. Yeah, absolutely. So, um... The summary you gave was fantastic, but in a nutshell, La Cocina is a nonprofit kitchen incubator, and we work with low-income and immigrant women to formalize their food businesses. So a lot of these women start selling food on the streets or from their homes, and a lot of what they're doing is income patching, and they're not actually able to really make a living. And so they join our program, and we're able to provide them with the affordable commercial kitchen space, technical assistance, uh, access to capital, among other services. And from there, they're able to formalize and enter the, the, the economy. So whether that's starting product lines at Whole Foods Market, uh, opening a food truck, or launching their own catering business, they're able to actually go from income patching to asset generation. That sounds really uh, very good, very innovative uh, program here. But how do you choose who participate in the program, or can anyone participate that request? So it's actually a really competitive process. Um, we accept people four times a year. We have 80 people come out every single time uh, who are interested in the program. And then of those 80 people, we get 20 applications. And of those 20, we only accept four each time. And so what we're really looking for are people who display entrepreneurial spirit and who really understand that, this is, that starting a food business is incredibly hard. You know, right now I think TV has really glamorized what it means to start a restaurant or a food business, and it's just... We want people to recognize that this is, you're not just a chef, you're also an accountant, you're also doing the marketing, you're also doing uh, the deliveries, every facet of the business. And then, of course, because we're a nonprofit, uh, we tend to work with a specific group of people, so everyone in our program is considered low income by the Department of Housing Guidelines. So these are people who we think really need the support, and if they don't have the support, then they don't have access to the kitchen or to marketing. So we've been talking to Phil Romano about the Trinity Groves project because that's getting so much national press. Is that helping your program um, in California also kind of draft off that idea of restaurant incubation? You know, I'm actually not very familiar with the Trinity Grove project. Okay, uh-huh. great. But um, they, I do know that we don't, we're not currently doing anything with them. Okay. Um, so how many people do you have? How long is the program? And when does people graduate from your program and move on actually to a very sustainable, either a, or their own space? Or what, what's usually the, the story of your uh, of people in the program? So uh, I, I sort of touched on this earlier, but basically everyone comes in with a different goal. So we have some people who do packaged food products, and they're things like these really amazing shortbread cookies by this woman named Claire. Um, 
Center of Business called Claire Squares, and you can buy those all over the country just by ordering online. Wow. Um, and then we also have our gift box program where we can help distribute some of those packaged goods. Other women just go straight into a food truck or a food trailer. As a farmer's market scene out here in California is quite large, and it's a really popular way to accelerate your food business. Some people stick just with catering, and then others ultimately want to open their own restaurant. So this is actually a huge year for us because we have five uh, entrepreneurs moving into brick-and-mortar locations. That's great. That's great news. Congratulations yeah. to all of them. <laughs> How? Yeah, oh, no, go ahead. I was going to say we're excited, you know, because usually we have maybe one or two a year. And the fact that we have five, I think, just really speaks to how much we've matured as an organization and how we've kind of hit this formula that we, like, we know how to help entrepreneurs um, in an informal place a lot faster and a lot more prepared than we used to. So you've talked about packaged goods, food trucks. I mean, it seems as though, really, whatever your passion is for food, you're going to provide development support and help these folks get on their feet in order to make it to the next stage of their development. Is that the deal? Yeah, we're really fortunate in that uh, everyone on staff has prior food experience. So even though we all might not be working hands-on with the food at the moment, uh, like I do development and communications, like I have restaurant experience, and so do all the other people on staff. And then, of course, we're really lucky to have uh, advisory committees from around San Francisco who can provide support. And so these are people from huge landmark restaurants here in the Bay, like Delfina, Safer Provisions, and they actually help provide technical assistance and internships for the people in the program. That's great. And as a nonprofit, then, how do folks support you, the work of your um, of La Casina? Yeah, so there are a couple different ways. Um, as I mentioned earlier, those gift boxes that we can send all over the country, it's a really fantastic way to try the food that the entrepreneurs are making in the program but also support La Cocina and those entrepreneurs. And then uh, they can also, of course, just donate lacocinasf.org slash donation. That's going to be the most direct way. And all those dollars go straight to the program. That's great. Michelle, thank you so much for joining us. Remember, thank those you. of you listening, you can find us online at wesellrestaurants.com. Please take a moment and like us on your Facebook page. We're at facebook.com backslash wesellrestaurants. Follow us on Twitter. That handle is at Cell Restaurants. And, of course, we're on LinkedIn as well. You're speaking with Eric and Robin Gagnon. We're the restaurant brokers. Remember, We Sell Restaurants is your industry authority and source for information.